So this is my 2016 GT350. It is the, not the R, just the GT350. Um, it has the technology package, um, so standard seats. Doesn't have all the performance cooling parts on the transmission and uh, um, rear diff. But I have not had any issues with it. I also do not plan on taking this to the track. So bought this about a year ago, um, put about 9,000 miles on it. Um, now it's mainly kind of relaxing in the garage. Um, but I took, looked at a couple of different shops um, that do upgrades to the GT350s, uh, Hennessy, Fat House, and uh, Shelby American. I looked at the different options. Um, ended up choosing Shelby American. I wanted to keep this naturally aspirated. Um, a lot of the other, a lot of the other shops uh, immediately just throw the the Whipple supercharger on it, which of course is cool. But uh, if I wanted a supercharged vehicle, I would have bought the GT500. So keeping it naturally aspirated and uh, Shelby American, that's uh, their package doesn't really touch the engine much, which I liked. Um, so, wanted to walk through um, kind of the car as is and uh, kind of go through the, uh, the sales order of everything they're going to be doing to it um, to turn this into the GT350 SE or the Signature Edition. Um, they only do 100 cars per year, so I'm super excited that I was able to get a hold of Shelby and get everything coordinated. So, we'll be taking the car down to Las Vegas, Nevada. I live in Florida, so it's a... It's a bit of a journey, um, just to get some perspective, if you can see that, it's a day and 10 hour drive to Las Vegas, so I'll be driving it out there um, and then having it trailered back once it's done, because um, I can't hang out for weeks out there with the work schedule. So dropping it off, going to spend a couple days in Vegas, and then I'm flying back and the car's going to be shipped back to me. But, uh, but yeah, so going to walk through all the different... Um, all the different upgrades that are going to be done to this this car um, and just kind of show off everything as they are now so I'm going to pull up this sales order and just walk through everything so um, <clears throat> it's the GT350 SE base package I am having added on a Shelby short throw shifter um, so right now the stock Tremec Shifter transmission setup is fantastic, um, but I'm hoping it feels even better with the with the, the Shelby shifter on it. Um, that's an that's an addition um, to the base um, GT350 SE package. Also, I'm having the stock black uh, Brembo calipers. I'm having them painted blue um, to match the racing stripes. And then Shelby's also going to put their, their emblem on them in white. So I think those will look really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> then one other add-on to the base package, and then I'll kind of just walk through the package itself, is an aluminum coolant tank. If anybody has one of these, you'll know that um, engine compartment looks absolutely fantastic, except for a couple of things. One being, um, hold on, I'm going to set this down. Okay, so anybody who has one of these knows that the engine compartment actually looks really, really nice, um, except for this hideous thing here. Um, so the coolant reservoir, getting an aluminum Shelby reservoir put in. At some point, I'm going to be buying Shelby covers for the fuse box and the other reservoir over there. Um, but uh, that's to come and not part of the package itself. But uh, So three add-ons. Short throw shifter, um, painted calipers, and uh, the coolant reservoir. So excited about those. But then the base package itself, yeah, it's going to have a, a Shelby shift knob. Um, I like the GT350 shift knob that's in there now, but uh, it's just included in the package, so that's fine. Um, <clears throat> they're putting uh, new wheels and tires on. Um, so as I've said before, I absolutely despise black painted rims. I thought they were cool when they first came out, but after you've owned a car with these things, they're ugly and they're boring and they're just constantly coated 
and break dust. That makes them look like absolute garbage. So I'm going to have brushed nickel CS21s, uh, the Shelby, Shelby rims put on. Um, uh, they're putting Michelin Pilot Sport tires on it. Uh, they're also replacing the rear tail panel to indicate that it's a signature edition. Um, so right now it just has the GT350 with the Cobra on it. It'll have the Cobra, also say signature edition. It's more of a circular emblem. It looks much, much better. Um, <clears throat> then additionally, they're going to do a stripe down the rocker panel. Um, it says Shelby. They're going to match the, the, the blue racing stripes. Shelby, and then it'll say signature edition down the, the rocker panel. Um, they're also putting a badge on the dash um, <clears throat> in between the oil, oil pressure and oil temperature gauges. Um, so it'll be a Shelby American um, um, badge on the dash because it's an official Shelby and then the Shelby registry. So um, it'll have the, the appropriate badge. Um, there's also a badge going in the engine compartment. Um, and then additionally, uh, they're reskinning the seats. Um, the seats look good now, but the, they'll be Carroll Shelby signature seats that look absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> so excited about those. Um, doing a new spring kit. Um, doing uh, Shelby American engine cap sets. So right now they're these kind of ugly Ford plastic things. They'll all be, I believe they're aluminum, but they look pretty good. Um, see what else oh also a uh, Shelby caster camber kit so um, right now it's just the stock Ford and then they'll be replaced with the Shelby um, and I believe that's it it's um it's a pretty cool looking package it's not drastically different the car is not gonna really it's gonna look like the same car but just kind of um oh and then also a track sway bar kit um, but yeah so it's it's a little bit of suspension stuff um, mostly cosmetic, just kind of getting, you know, the, the Shelby American sign off on every, pretty much everywhere you can get it, but, um, but yeah, I'm super excited about it. Just kind of wanted to, you know, the car from the side looks a little bit boring, I've noticed, after owning it for a little while. From the front and the rear, it looks absolutely amazing, but the, the rocker panels, I think, will kind of complete this off, plus the new wheels. The new wheels are going to make such a difference on this thing. Like, even just sitting in the garage, the car looks great. It's, you know, bright white car, cool accents with the blue racing stripes, but then just these blobs of black tire and, bl and painted black rim that just look absolutely horrendous. I um, feel like the Shelby wheels in black look, look better than the Ford ones do, but uh, I'm going with the brushed aluminum. I saw pictures online. They look, they look really, really cool, so very excited about that. But, but yeah, so... Um, I'm going to try to, uh, um, film what I can of the trip down there and then, you know, arriving at Shelby. Um, I think it'll be pretty, pretty cool experience for me. This is a, this is kind of a, a, a kind of a bucket list thing. Take a car down to Shelby. It's pretty cool. So I'm very excited about it and I'm going to try to document everything I can with the, with the cameras and the experience and the trip. So, um, but yeah. Next video will probably be me getting in the car with everything packed up and just some, some boring traveling uh, or boring driving time lapses. <laughs> so it's a, uh, like I said, it's a 30 plus hour drive. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually include in a video, but I'm going to try to film what I can anyways. So, but, uh, but yeah, haven't been this excited in a while for something. So uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> um, you know, getting everything coordinated and the deposit down and everything. I was so excited. Um, so, um, I can't wait and I'll uh, film everything. Going to be leaving here next week, so end of next week to start the drive. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys when I'm on my way.